In today's video, I'm going to give you my very first impressions of the new product release of Selfless by Hiram. Hiram, as you know, is a very influential influencer here on the YouTube space and as well as other platforms. His new brand, Selfless by Hiram, just released this week. So I was quick to purchase the three products that I was eyeing out of the five that he launched this week to give you a quick overview and first impressions of the brand. Selfless by Hiram skincare brand is under the Inky List banner and it touts that the brand is really focusing on two specific causes, supporting the rainforest and clean drinking water with every purchase. These products are vegan and cruelty free, made from recycled products and are recyclable. These things will also contribute to the price point of the products, which I really consider to be mid-range, especially in comparison to the products that you can purchase from the Inky List brand. The packaging that it comes in is really quite pretty. I love the color scheme and it gives you more information on the products and of course the sustainability projects that the brand is trying to support. The reason I only bought these three products because I think I can give you a good first impression of these after limited use. It's not like I've been trying these for months on end. Straight up, I got them when they were released. I didn't think I could do a first impressions video justice on the retinol product. And to be honest, I spent $100 on these three. So I kind of felt like I didn't really need another mandelic acid serum. I already have one. So I'd rather finish that one up before I purchase that. To be honest with you, I was actually most interested in the cleanser when I was looking at the products that he had launched. This Centella and Green Tea Hydrating Cleanser has two of my favorite ingredients in the title alone. Centella Asiatica is a wonderful ingredient for my skin. And for reference, I have combination skin, sensitive prone and rosacea prone. So Centella is actually really calming and soothing for my skin and I love to see it in ingredients. Green Tea is also a fabulous antioxidant, so I'd love to see that in here too. However, it's in a cleanser, so it's only on your skin for a short amount of time. What I was most interested in this is, would it strip my skin? Cleansing is actually really difficult for me. I have a hard time finding cleansers that don't strip away all of the beneficial oils from my skin and leave my skin barrier damaged. So much so that I only cleanse my skin at nighttime with a cleanser. So I was cautiously optimistic that this would work for me. And the reason why I wanted to review this for you is because I can usually tell right away if a cleanser is too much for my skin because immediately after my cheeks go inflamed, my skin feels tight and it goes red and I know right then, yep, this one's not going to work. So I knew I'd be able to give an honest review on this one because after one use, I can generally tell if it's not going to work for me. This one applied initially like a gel and then started to foam. And it was at the foaming stage where I was like, okay, here we go. This is where it's gonna turn bad. But I was wrong. This actually didn't strip my skin at all. and actually left my skin feeling really good. Cleanser is suitable for all skin types. It's a big win for me because it suits my sensitive skin. So I'm really impressed with this one. The second product I bought was the salicylic acid and sea kelp serum. The reason I bought this one too is because generally when I use a BHA like a salicylic acid I can tell pretty much overnight if it's worked for me or not. I only use salicylic acid serums once or twice a week depending on what my skin needs. Because I have combination skin I can get really oily and congested in my t-zone and also break out in those areas. Salicylic is great for that because it's an exfoliating BHA. It's oil soluble, which means it can really get into your pores and clean out all of that oil, dirt, debris, and whatever else is in there. Love its ability to penetrate oily skin and unclog pores. Well, because I'm just ever so lucky and have combination skin as well as sensitive and rosacea prone cheeks, it makes it difficult to use salicylic acid because it's too sensitive sensitive on my cheeks. However, I want the benefit of it in the other areas of my face. That's why I only apply my salicylic acid serums to my T-zone. Keep that in mind if you have similar skin to me. You don't have to apply every single product all over your face if it's not going to suit you in that area. 
Salicylic acid is really great for those who have oily and acne prone skin. And this particular formulation has niacinamide in it as well. Niacinamide is known to help reduce congestion, reduce oil production in the skin. It has so many benefits. I think it's really good in combination with the salicylic acid here. Also succinic acid in this ingredient list. And if you're familiar with the Inky list, you probably heard of their succinic acid treatment. Where is it? This one. This is a great spot treatment. I have done a short video on how I use this one and how it tackled one of my pimples overnight. But I really like this product and it, it's a combination of succinic acid, sulfur and salicylic acid. While I don't think there's a lot of research supporting succinic acid in its application for skincare, I think the fact that it's in this product and I've seen good results with it in the other one from the Inky list, I think it'll do well in this product as well. I'm happy to say I use this product in the evening and by the morning I did notice a reduction in the congestion in my skin, which is exactly what I like to see when I use the salicylic acid serum. So this really stands up against some of my other favorites. So this is a thumbs up for me too and I think it's really good for oily acne prone skin. Lastly, I bought the this is called the Niacinamide and Maracujo Daily Support. No, Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer. That one's kind of a mouthful. Lastly, I bought the moisturizer from Selfless by Hiram. And this was really the other product I was quite interested in. Again, I think I can give you an honest opinion after only a couple of uses of what I think of this product. This has niacinamide in the formulation at 5%, which has been known to be a very good percentage to reap the benefits of niacinamide in a formulation. So I was very happy to see that in this concentration in this particular moisturizer. Again, niacinamide being good for really helping with irritation and inflamed skin while controlling oil production is really useful for someone like me who has combination skin and also rosacea flare-ups. Glycerin is also in this formulation, one of my favorite ingredients for hydration. Now the maracujo is actually part of the passion fruit family. Either passion fruit or maracujo in skincare really help to support a damaged or weakened skin barrier. I couldn't find any research to support this claim, but that doesn't necessarily mean it isn't true. In the end, this is a really lightweight consistency. It goes on really nice, and I would say it probably isn't enough for somebody with really dry skin as it is such a lightweight formulation. But for my combination skin, people with oily and acne prone skin, I think this is really nice. I use this morning and night. It layers beautifully under my sunscreen and I'm wearing BB cream, concealer, makeup right now. There's no pilling or anything as a result either. Skin felt hydrated after the application, but just not quite enough for me. In my age group, the dehydration factor really comes into play. So I would still use this formulation because I love its lightweight consistency and I love the way it applies. And I did feel like my skin was hydrated after applying it. Just I would prefer to add in my hydrating serums in my skincare routine when using this product as well. I have to say the texture of all three products is really nice to use and especially the moisturizer. I really did find its application just felt so light and airy yet still left my skin feeling hydrated. The salicylic acid serum is very watery. Sometimes watery serums I find are difficult to apply, but it's very easy to measure out a small amount. I only used a couple of drops for my T-zone and that was completely adequate. And I actually really do appreciate the packaging. I like the way it squeezes out of the package with that little nozzle. I think that's quite innovative because it's better than a dropper, maybe not quite as good as the airless packaging that uh, uses a pump, but I think it's a really interesting way to package the product, keeping the formulation safe from oxidization and bacteria or anything getting into the product. I'm interested though to see what it'll be like when I get to the end of the product and how easy it is to get all of what's in here out. So time will tell with that. I will purchase the other two products, the retinol serum and the mandelic acid serum for a future review. These three are any indication of how those ones will be. I'm really quite interested to give them a try. Comment below what your thoughts are on this newly launched brand. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.